Hello everybody, welcome to my Sony E3 2016 press conference reactions video. That's a fucking mouthful to say. Um, so, super excited, I was super excited for Sony's press conference, being a Sony fanboy. Um, huge fan of this, uh, the PlayStation console brand. How did I get through here? You were supposed to take that, that, the ball, Blaine, use the ball. You gotta t lick him. He'll take the yarn back off. I don't want to. Well, then you can't beat this level. Why do I have to? Because you you need him to beat the level. Blaine, I'm trying to record something here. So, what to talk about first uh, with with Sony? Before I keep getting interrupted, my son's playing Yoshi's Woolly World behind me here. Uh, <laughs> you can see it in the TV back there. Yeah, uh, right okay, here. so. <laughs> so, um, I was super excited for Sony's E3 press conference, um, and I was not let down in my opinion. Um, the one thing that I really wanted them to talk about, they did, um, which was PlayStation VR. Um, they didn't talk about any new consoles, which I was really, really disappointed with. Um, just try to keep it down a little bit, Blaine. Um, they keep coming. You have to use the ball. Um, they didn't talk about a new console, which I was pretty disappointed with because Microsoft did. Um, and I think that's going to leave Sony in the water a little bit. So I'm going to start first with uh, some epic games that were shown. Um, and then I'll work up to uh, one of the games that I was most excited about um, at this year's E3. Or at least at the Sony press conference here. So Sony had a pretty, pretty epic opening. Um, he started this full, full freaking orchestra. I had like, I didn't know what they were playing. It didn't come to mind. Um, and then the curtains open, um, and the this trailer started. So it starts out with this kid just playing it like who's yelling at him is it his dad stepdad whatever um not really sure what it is at this point your mother's knife it belongs to you now and that's sad that means like his mother has passed passed away he's got a lot of scars on her for a kid that age she taught you to hunt yes Yes, sir. Then show me what you know. I am hungry. That big epic reveal. Fucking Kratos. Feed us. What are we hunting? You are hunting deer. Which way? You're hunting. Um, Tell me. Open straight up with gameplay. Is that a question? So, alright? It looks so, so good. And at this point, you like... Why does Kratos care about this kid? Um, and, like, what was his relationship to his mother? Is he just there? It's just like some weird, awkward relationship. I don't know. God, the game looks so, so good. I know it probably looks terrible on my video. And there was a little notification that tracking knowledge went up by 25 points. That is a beast of an elk. Slow down, boy. Sorry. You must think. Do not simply react. Be God, and this is only in like 1080p, like <laughs> at least on my on my uh, my screen here. All the environment just looks so real. Hold. <laughs> What are you doing? Now his guard is up. Only fire. Ooh, Only fire. When I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. Fight. Fight. It. 
And you could tell there's some type of like no. you could tell there's some type of like real awkward relationship there between the two, but you could tell like Kratos cares about this kid. No! You are not ready! Stay back! Oh, so fucking brutal. Um, so all of this was in real time too. They kept switching back and forth to show actually somebody playing the game. Um, so it's all actual gameplay footage. Um, I love that that's a trend now in E3. Be like, yep, can't deny it because it's real game footage. That's that's a beast. So it wasn't until that moment right there you actually hear the kid call out to him. Kratos is fucking dad. And now this means so, so much more because we know of Kratos, we know Kratos past. But basically the he took our our cave in blood. Ah, swing and a miss, kid. Off the ice. No! I am so sorry. I. <laughs> Your deer is getting away. Being being a dad myself, like I, like I I I, oh, oh. I feel the tension between this father and son now, oh, and I feel bad for that kid because it's just and Kratos too, to be honest, because it's just kind of his nature. Um, and I and I, I really feel like really for him loving anything uh, is. Is a huge challenge for him. Really, it's time for you to learn. Father, look. I need a bunch of them. No, he does not. Oh, watch it. No, I don't want to go down there. Wait for my mark. Relax. Do not think of it as an animal. It is simply a target. Clear your mind. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. Exhale and release. Good. No, don't get me. Don't get me. No. No. Gain archery. No. So there must be some type of like RPG elements to this, I think, which is going to be really cool. I love. I'm so excited to play this. Um. From some of the other interviews that I've watched on E3 after the press conference had ended uh, no. earlier, earlier today, what you started. Um, the role between father and son in the game is going to be very important. And they talked about how if <laughs> if how Kratos if Kratos is capable of being redeemed and raising this child and and all this other. Really, really fantastic elements. Um, and I think for for someone in at my at the point in life that I'm in, because I have children, I think this is probably going to be uh, a little more in my face. And this is an interesting part here. They both. Let me save my thought here. A new beginning. 
very interesting choice words. You know, he tells his son, you are ready. And his son says, for what? And Kratos replies, a new beginning. And then that's when I launched the title. God of War. I know, Blaine, it's called a puzzle. Oh. Puzzle. <laughs> uh, yeah, puzzle. Mm -hmm. So, um, I, you could just see the, the emotion in their, in both of their face, like, um, when the, when the kid shot the deer, or shot the elk, like, he turned around, he was so excited, because he wanted, uh, you know, he wanted his father's approval and his, his father's, um, recognition. And praise, praise, that's the word I was looking for, is praise. Um, and then at the end there where they're, where they're stabbing, stabbing the deer, like, Kratos goes to reach out for him, and, like, he's just, Kratos no. just, just doesn't seem like he's ready to love anything, let alone uh, love and raise a child. Um, I think it's going to be an absolutely, epically fantastic game, and I am absolutely super excited um, to play this one. So I don't think I'm doing these in any particular order. I'm just kind of doing them in the order that I feel like. Um, so up next, uh, Sony talked about more Horizon Zero Dawn. And um, showed, showed off some more gameplay of that. Yeah. I think it is. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Um... So I am so, so excited for this game. This was my new IP from last year um, that I just got. Turn back. Corrupted machines in the valley. Epic I excited have to about. Cross. I'm headed for the border. One thing I like... Show mercy. One thing I really like about is they say corrupted machines. So I wonder if that means there are machines that are not inherently just um, uh, aggressive towards humans. Um... Again, such a beautiful, beautiful landscape. And one thing that I show walkers. Like let's have a look. For one, if I like this is my new digital waifu right here. I love gingers and I love a really strong female lead, um, especially in my video games. Um That's why I'm really, really digging this game. It's gonna be it looks like it's going to be fantastic. Hey, I need, I have I need more yarn. Oh, this is back at start. So what's really cool here, like, so she's got traps, like, so she can rope things down, which is really cool. Um, and then, go ahead and put it on, pal. And then something they, um, they talked about uh, in a developer interview that um, I am forgetting her name, like, Aoi or Ao, Ao, I'm fucking terrible, I'm so sorry. Um, but she, she, she's an outcast, and uh, the reason she's an outcast is because she can do things that nobody else can. She's basically good with technology, uh, when there really isn't technology out. Um, and another cool thing they were talking about, how uh, each robotic animal has its own responsibility in the ecosystem um, so this game's gonna be pretty pretty deep and I'm I'm very much um, looking getting looking forward to playing it hammer that down so we can get out okay hold on pal right. the world looks huge I'm so so happy to be able to play this so I um, right. did get pushed back from last year uh, but it's coming out February 28th, 2017. So the next game I'm going to talk about um, was a game that they showed off last year that everybody had thought been long gone for like the last five plus years. So when this when this trailer first first opened up, um, I honestly didn't know. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea what it was for. 
Uh, it honestly kind of has some um, like Avatar-esque music. So I was like, is this, is this like an Avatar game? Um, then the big creature just jumps down into the screen and it's all of its majesticness. Um, you know, I will admit, uh, when I watched this trailer live, I I cried. <laughs> I, I legit, I legit cried. And there's two of them. Maybe one doesn't like the other one. Such a beautiful world. The Last Guardian. October 25th, 2016. <laughs> yes, it's got a release date! I'm not sure how much more there is I could say about The Last Guardian other than, holy shit, release date. And it's coming this fall. So the next game I'm gonna gonna talk about from Sony's press conference, um, we're gonna talk about Final Fantasy XV again, mostly because I'm super excited for that game. This new trailer had a lot of action sequences to it, um, and I may or may not delete the audio from this trailer because I'm gonna try to avoid the best I can getting copyright issues. How's he not dead? Who's that cool chick? Is that Garuda? Or Viathan? Um, they must be getting burned by a freak right there. There's Ramu. And this, the summons look so, so freaking cool. And they're so huge. Like the battles in this game are just gonna be absolutely freaking epic. Uh, the game literally, like, look how huge that is. That's so fucking cool. One thing I truly, I think I really like about this game is that it's, it's basically just four super rich dudes on a fucking road trip, or one super rich dude and his three friends. Also like this dubstep chocobo theme. But the game's just so beautiful. Um, and I, I hope it's going to be more than just a pretty looking game, I hope it's going to be a good game. Because Final Fantasy needs a good single player experience again. They're just fucking badasses. I'd love to see a cosplay group of those guys. Uh, Final Fantasy 9 2016. Uh, we are just a couple months away from that. It's another post-apocalyptic title. A post-apocalyptic title. That's what I mean to say. Uh, and it's another game that looks pretty promising. So... This game looks like it's got some huge promises to it. Uh, it's open world, post-apocalyptic. I remember when our homes and our towns turned Fantastic looking game. I was really hoping this was the Last of Us 2. Survival. And I was sad that it wasn't. When the planes fell out of the skies. When the trains stopped running. But it's still looking like a pretty cool game up until this point. The trailer doesn't show a whole lot of why the world's destroyed, what's happened, what's this guy's story. He says he's about a hunter, he's a mercenary, but really, where did he come from? What did he lose? And for me, the broken road is all that's left. But all days gone. So there's no release date for Days Gone. Uh, they basically just said it's in development for PS4 and that it is a PS4 exclusive. Um, was really excited for it until they started showing some of the gameplay and then I got a little bit disappointed. And then I heard some developer interviews and then I got more excited for it again. So at first I thought it was another zombie game. The gameplay looked very good. It looked very um, 
very Last of Us-esque style gameplay. During a developer interview, uh, the interviewer asked me, like, hey, is this just basically like another zombie game? Um, and I said, no, it wasn't. Um, it's very different. Yes, these people are infected, um, but when they get infected, um, the creatures will act differently. Um, so the so there's a lot there's a lot more to it than just mindless zombies. They're they're more intelligent, um, and they I guess they more work together. Um, more more coherent with each other. I guess is what I'm going to put it. Um, what I was also super excited for was the fact that it's actually set in the northwest where I'm from. It's actually around the Bend, Oregon area, um, or that's where the developers are from. And, <laughs> and that's good job, Blaine. Um, and that's kind of where the game the game is actually set. Yeah, I, I can see that. Uh, so that makes me just want to get it just because of that. Um, that's also just another reason to get it, I guess you're saying, not just because of that. The next game I'm going to talk about is another brand new IP straight from Sony, and it is pretty freaking cool as well. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and run that trailer for you guys. You're sending an android? You need to go. You can't do that. You, why aren't you sending a real person? Captain Allen, my name is Connor. The woman's upset. I would think rightfully so. Firing at everything that moves. They'd already shot down two of my men. Saving that kid is all that matters. So I think you deal with this fucking android now, or I'll take care of it. Baby, show me. Don't come any closer, or I'll jump. Kim just got deep. Hi, Daniel. Serious. My name is Connor. There's no way out, Daniel. The only question is whether or not you take another innocent life. I'm holding all the cards. If I die, she dies. Look what you did! You were designed to serve humans, not kill them! What was I designed to be? Their slave? Their toy? Or a machine you have to obey. Now put the gun down and let the hostage go. I spent my life taking orders. Now it's my turn to decide. You never trust robots. And swing and a miss. <laughs> Things could have been different. Looks very quadiatic dreams, like the things they do with all their other games. Is how much, how much of a choice, choices, so many different choices, so many things, different things to discover, so much other really great stuff. I love that android's personality. Like he's an android, he knows that he's an android. He doesn't care. He's like, you can't kill me. I'm not alive. It's up to you how the story ends. I played Heavy Rain. Heavy Rain was a fun game. I trust you. What I really want to see so they're just gonna take that guy into hot like Is he dead? Is he not dead? Did they kill that android? Detroit. Become human. Also just straight in development for PS4. There was no release date, but it is going to be a PS4 exclusive. So coming up next was probably one of the most amazing entrances I've ever seen by any developer. Hands down. 
in the history of E3. It was epic, it was applauded, and then it was followed by one of the most amazing looking games um, that I know nothing about, but I'm excited for it. Floor opens up before him. I didn't know realize who it was till right here, and I was like, "Holy shit! It's fucking Hideo Kojima. It's Kojima-san." <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Oh man. He's back indeed. Why do I dog so much? We made for you, and this is all planning in real time. Please enjoy! The best entrance uh, I've ever seen. I don't think I, I've, I've ever seen. Uh, oh no! Um. I was I was so happy to see him. I I remember hearing rumors that he was working on a game. Um, and I'm so glad because of all the shit he had to deal with uh, over this last year. I'm glad that he is back and he's got a new game to show us. To see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in the wildflower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. Sony Interactive Entertainment presents Created and developed by Kojima Productions It's all these dead crabs <coughs> That one looked really weird Black, oily handprints is fucking weird. What the hell? So, I mean, the man here has handprints all over his. There's those handprints. And then he's like, holy fuck, it's Norrin fucking Reedus? Obviously, that little baby's very important to him. It's, it was still attached by an umbilical cord, which was really, really weird, too. It was black. The umbilical cords were supposed to be black. And now there's a little hint. What does any of this mean? Something was obviously cut out of him. Was that his baby? God, the graphics look really good. I'm so glad that Kojima and Norman Reedus got back together to create a game. I have no idea what it's about. It has nothing to do with the new Silent Hill game. Or well, the game that was cancelled. You can see everything's dead. He had weird handcuffs on him too, like there was some kind of glowing handcuffs. And then there's there's four five people. Those are humanoid figures up there in the air. Hideo Kojima game. Norman Reed sick. That's stranding. Um, pretty, pretty cool. Typical Kojima stuff. Um, um, pretty typical Kojima stuff when he releases a new game. It's very, very cryptic. 
Uh, we literally know nothing. We know nothing about it. One, Norman Reedus is in it. Two, it's a Kojima game. So you know it's gotta be good. Uh, so that's another new IP that I'm also excited for coming from Sony. And I believe exclusive to Sony as well. So moving on to the last game that I'm going to talk about in depth tonight. I'm going to talk about a couple more games, but they're just going to be really brief uh, when I talk about the the actual uh, big thing that Sony released um, in their press conference. I'm going to start that trailer now for you guys. So when this trailer first started out, you really didn't know too much what to think about it. Who's she? And immediately here, like, oh, okay, it's a horror game. So it's like some new Silent Hills. It's definitely a horror game. Ugh. There's some messed up stuff going on in this game. Huh. Well. Huh. Resident Evil Biohazard. Holy shit. January 24th, 2017. It's coming out early next year. Tentative release date. Pre order now. Oh man. Oh man. We got a new Resident Evil. It looks very good from some of the. Later, they showed actual gameplay. There's actually you can actually download the demo of it if you're if you're a PlayStation uh, Plus member. You can download the demo of it right now, I believe. Go download the demo. If I was a PS Plus subscriber, I would go do it. I'm almost thinking about getting my membership back just so I can forget to download it. But it is going to be completely first person, so they've made it almost like a, a first person sh shooter. I'm assuming it looks really good. The gameplay looks good. It looks very creepy, very horror. So they're stepping back into their roots. What made the first Resident Evil games really good? Um, the director say he did say in the timeline it is set. Um, it's the latest they've ever been in the timeline of Resident Evil. It is set just after Resident Evil Six. Um, it is the where the events take place in this game. Um, and they also said, which brings me rolling into my next segment, the last segment I'm going to talk about in the, um, my press conference review of Sony here, um, it's also coming to PlayStation VR. Yesterday, Sony walked out on stage and revealed the price and the release date for PlayStation VR. Um, PlayStation VR is going to be out October 13th, 2016. Um, so this fall, it's coming out. It's going to be priced at $3.99. A little bit of a steep price, in my opinion, um, for something that's basically an accessory to my PS4. And they did, they did basically say it was an accessory to the PS4. Um, but they're expecting the people to jump on it, and I think they're going to. Um, they did say um, by by the time of its launch and the end of this year, there will be about 50 games. For VR, or that are made to be on VR. So they did kind of a trailer mashup of all these games that are coming out for it. VR did get released in a pretty big way. They showed a lot of VR stuff. Um, if you look on Sony's uh, YouTube channel, they show a lot more stuff. There's a lot more games coming out that they kind of showed off that they didn't show in the press conference. I encourage you guys to check that out. Um, so I'm, I'm super excited about VR. I hope you guys are too. I think it's going to be really cool and really fun to use. I was really hoping that um, the Best Buy stores around my area would have a VR setup, but there's nothing even in Oregon remotely even close. So, um, 
So VR, place, PSVR will be coming out though, October 13th. Perfect in time for Christmas. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be an early adopter of it right away. Uh, I think, I think uh, that I will maybe see if there's some kind of Black Friday bundle or something going on this year that might make it a little more worthwhile. So in closing, uh, what do you guys think? What what a what a PlayStation's epic epic blow your mind whole proportions? Which games are you excited for the most? Are you excited for VR? Do you think it's gonna take off the way I think it's going to? Um, and are you okay with a three to four hundred dollar price tag on it? So is it too high? Is the PlayStation VR too high? Is four hundred dollars too high for you? Are you gonna adopt it right away? There's 50 games coming out for it, so it's going to be worth it. At least it should be worth it. And Resident Evil 7 will be playable in VR, like, very soon after. So I think it's going to make a fantastic Christmas gift for most people. Uh, also, which which of the brand new IPs are you most excited about? I think if, from what Sony showed, um, it's either got to be um, Detroit Become Human or Kojima's new game. Tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. Uh, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Your viewership means a lot to me. And please just comment. Tell me what games you thought were the best. What games did I leave out? Which games should I... Should I quit YouTube because I suck? I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, and until the next video, guys, be kind to each other. And I'll see you guys next time.